Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. As we see, the puppies are out here. The sun is coming up. It is indeed. And uh, we couldn't find our new um, microphone, so we are just talking directly into the phone. Hope it comes through fine. And, and we hope there's enough memory. Yeah. Yes, the little challenges, but man, it feels like it's so overdue to just simply have a talk in nature and get away from the technology a little. It's really good to do that and in, in to ground, and I, I think that helps us in our, our vibration and our frequency. Yes, absolutely, as I'm making sure I'm not blocking the microphone. Uh, it's been so long since we did a video like this. There was a time when we did as many videos like this as we did other videos. Well, I, I think when we were in the camper, we had to be creative. Yeah. Yep. And as you can see, Rama is enjoying himself. He is out in the yard and no rain here. Um, a little chilly, though. It's uh, surprisingly cool. But hey, we're almost in October. Fall has officially arrived i know and it is really really pretty it doesn't i mean it doesn't look like it's that cold but oh gosh it's cold well it's relative yeah what we're calling cold may be uh i don't know six, uh, 60 62 <laughs> certainly uh in the deep south yeah um it's it's uh a welcome breath of fresh air so we're talking about the fall uh, having arrived and, and the fall of the dark matrix, which lies inside of the natural matrix, uh, is underway as well. And we have shared with you guys that it seems that, you know, YT is at their thing again, where they're trying to keep certain subjects off topic while they're trying to obviously um, manifest a certain reality for uh, the population of the planet and this gets us talking about um, divergent timelines this gets us talking about manifestation and entrainment and it really is all about entrainment in the sense that we are trying to entrain our own personal frequencies to the higher uh, frequency possibilities out there uh, to our guides, uh, you know, our, uh, if you want to look at them as guardian angels and what have you, those beings that exist on the higher frequencies, as we've turned the wheel of the yuga, and we're back on the ascending path. We're back on the ascending path. That is so exciting in and of itself. Well, I, I enjoy entrainment. It's really, really fun. That's one of the first things I learned when I started working in the world of sound healing. And many of you who do work with sounds would under, understand entrainment. So, you know, when you have two people in a room and they're vibrating at different frequencies, the, uh, the lower frequency is going to work very hard to entrain to the higher frequency. And it, to me, it's just a lot of fun. And there's some new uh, technologies that are coming out there that I can't even really call technology. They're like ancient, ancient works of art that help people and train to a higher vibration of uh, getting closer to source and closer to their guides and angels. That, that these new devices are out there and they're very, very exciting. And I find them to be I, I feel that they are very good because when I compare, when I was floating in front of Source, I compare that energy to some of these devices that are out there and it feels so good and it feels happy. So I don't think they're all really, really good, but the things I have been exposed to lately are really good. And when you work with uh, energy healers, like with Mike and I, we do everything we possibly can to help keep our vibration high, our frequency high, so that when we are working on you, it's a very natural rate of somebody moving up in frequency. And what is this gonna do? This is gonna bring more light into your body, 
which is going to allow those things to heal that have been broken. Maybe it's old surgeries. Maybe you have a broken arm. And there's so many studies out there showing that uh, energies like Reiki and pranic healing and uh, quantum touch, all of these things, when, when done right and when someone is really working on their energy body, they are very helpful in helping someone heal, uh, heal that broken bone much, much faster. Or even trauma, PTSD, and that's really how I got into this work. I was uh, looking for my own uh, solution to PTSD and, and I'm still working on that, but I've really come a long way. I've really, really come a long way in healing my body, my mind, and my soul. And I wouldn't be able to do this without energy, energy work so critical because it, it heals you at a natural rate and I, I love to compare things with mother nature because she's perfect i mean if a tree if a tree limb gets broken she's going to heal that tree limb as perfect as possible so that it can exist in its surroundings um, and do what it needs to do and we are really no different if we get broken in our mind body and soul and if we use nature and energy healing to heal that thing or things that is wrong with us, we are going to probably end up stronger than we were even before that break or that trauma. And isn't that what we want to head toward? We want to head toward healing, not just a band-aid. No, true healing. Uh, again, you know, this system that we've lived under it never really offers true healing um, because that has to come from within and you don't want to um, bury emotions to bury what we might consider as problems they're just going to root and fester we need to process and we need to release and it is a process in and of itself of acknowledgement recognizing something seeing it for what it is and then letting it go and boy there's going to be a lot of letting go uh in this time period that we are in and that's really what it's it, it's all about right now as we're on the ascending path you could envision all the baggage that this uh, system that society has attached to us that we are going to be unpacking and slowly uh, just doing away with. It's like a boat that's overloaded and sinking. And so we have to pick this and pick that that's no longer serving us and throw it overboard and let it go. And then we'll start to find that we are rising up that our load is lighter and that things become easier to manage and all this is going to help us to manifest better outcomes for ourselves as we've said many times when you look to say for instance the sanatana dharma which again literally translates to uh, the eternal way the natural way the everlasting way this is what's been hidden in uh, dogma and in the muck and the mire of a control system that doesn't want you to fly. That has been all about grounding you and giving you limitations. Uh, now we're in a time where we're starting to realize, wow, you know, there really is potential for massive change out there. Who knows what we really could do? We don't have to be striving so hard to just keep our heads above water. Nope. You know, there, there, there are realizations right now that many people are having that are monumental. And they're really questioning everything, questioning, you know, what they've taken to be reality and what they've taken to be the human condition and recognizing that it's, it's not accurate. It's never been accurate. If we go by what the system uh, gives us, we will never really know our true potential. 
And that's the most exciting part of this time is, is the big revelations and the realizing that we are not bound by all these limitations that they've thrown on us. So, uh, let's see, a, a few videos ago, I was talking about this, a video that a friend of ours sent us, and it was showing about these fleas that uh, they were stuck in a jar by a scientist. They, the, the lid was put on the jar and the fleas, uh, when they jumped, they hit the jar lid. And after three days, you took off the jar lid and the fleas would still only go as high as that lid. And it wasn't just those fleas, it was their baby fleas too, their children. Their children would only jump as high as that lid would go as well, whether the lid was on or off. It didn't matter. It just does not matter. So, um, I mean, I, I think we need to look at that and take a, a, a really close look at that and understand that we are, we have been put in a jar by some really wonky scientists and not only do we have these unseen limitations that we do to ourselves, our children too, our children too, because the DNA, uh, the DNA is something that passes from one to the other. And knowing that we can break that up and realizing our manifesting abilities and our co-creator abilities, I think that's their biggest fear um, that we are going to understand how to make our lives whatever we want them to be they really don't want that and it just makes me think of the tower of babel it's like you know at one point this was figured out and they had to come down and and make sure and mix that up you know because they can't have it because it's less for them um but we're in a world now where things are changing the frequency is moving up people are realizing their potential and really, it can only be delayed. Uh, this energy that we are gathering for ourselves, um, it's, it's ours. It's ours. It's ours to utilize and create with. And the controllers won't be able to hold on to it much longer because we're in a natural process. And like I said, nature, there's no stopping her. Absolutely not. You can uh, put a piece of pavement over a over a dandelion and boy that thing will crack through and up you know in the next year because nature finds a way and that's where we're at absolutely it, it truly is exciting as exciting as rama with his bali there because rama loves his bali he, he's big into <laughs> playing with the ball uh, all day long and by the way sasa sasa frasa there she is Sassy is still doing well. She's probably 12 or 13 now, um, but she still is the teacher and guide for the puppies and they do uh, absolutely listen to her. Um, so what we have to realize is that now it, it's the time to, to let, let go and to fly, to, to rise higher absolutely the sky is the limit i do believe that in each age there's almost a whole new set of possibilities i i, I was almost going to say uh rules or laws that each age is bound to but really when we're on the ascending path it's more about possibilities as as opposed to limitations when you look at the tradition of of attaching to say a yogi um to a guru and w w this is a path that um many have followed throughout the years and maybe people do it even now in this day without realizing that that's what they're doing unfortunately many people will look to people um, as their yogis and gurus that are part of the system and are not giving off very high frequencies and trying to emulate that, they are uh, themselves then not giving off the highest frequencies without even realizing that that's what they're doing. But if you had a true teacher, a true guru that was giving off high frequencies and new human potential, then just by being in in the area of that guru you would feel your energy and frequency raising up i have had some friends that are, are very much like that 
that always make um, make an entrance into a room and you could feel that the energy is just peaceful and calm and it makes everybody peaceful and calm it, it lends to that of course we all have our own inner turmoil but when you do energy work and when you are actively striving to become a better version of yourself and learning and absorbing and taking on new potentials and possibilities uh, through entrainment to higher ideas, higher ideals, and understanding that the limitations that we've put on ourselves in, in this past age of darkness are artificial. Really, truly, the sky is the limit and all possibilities open up before us. New timelines open up before us. And this is something that the control system doesn't want you to understand. No, they don't want us connecting, you know, human to human. It's really going to do a lot of damage to their network, what they have created. But uh, humans have that ability when we are in close proximity to each other and even distance, because we do primarily distant work. Um, it's this quantum, there's no untangling it. It's going to touch and when you are an uh, energy healer you're going to reach that person even if they're across the globe it really does not matter um, but i do feel that there are other benefits of being in close proximity to to a healer or this energy especially when it comes to human to human because we know exactly how to help one another grow um, we know how to our energy knows how to help the other energy grow it's nothing that really needs to be taught when you when you embrace this energy and you make a, a deliberate effort to grow it and to nurture it and to uh, allow yourself to expand that energy knows exactly what the other being is going to need so it's it's about putting in the intent for that person to heal and it's just getting stronger and stronger and stronger these days and then our ability to manifest is very very exciting um that's where i'm really happy that i know and i can see and i've witnessed that we all have these manifesting abilities instead of the self-limiting that we may have been raised with in in the schools where we kind of get indoctrinated and we're told oh you have to believe this this and this um no <laughs> no no you don't no absolutely and you know that again is just so exciting these are exciting times in some ways as i've said before i think the ascending bronze age is perhaps the most exciting because it is still a roller coaster but the potential is just unbelievable and again we don't have to manifest what they tell us i think um again there are prophecies out there that are intentionally made to self-fulfill and then there's other prophecies out there um, that are given with the intent that hey you don't want to go down this path it's up to us to choose our own path and we just as a whole, we haven't understood this. We truly haven't understood this, but more every day are awakening to this reality. So I, we really look forward to your comments. There's a lot of new things in the works with us as um, we will be opening up the doors to ever increasing new possibilities and letting you guys know uh, as time goes on what these are and, and what they involve. If you do need to reach out to us, as always, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com. All the info is on every single video. Just click the little drop down for more information. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.